Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back here to Microsoft Flight Simulator and in today's video we're going to be having a look at a new recently released free app from Parallel42 called SimStaller. Now, Parallel42 are a developer team that makes some great utilities for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And for those of you who have been flight simming for quite some time, will probably remember Chaseplane, an app used in FSX and P3D, which basically gave you amazing camera angles and cinematic views during your flight. Something I really hope Parallel42 would be able to bring to Microsoft Flight Simulator because that really was a fantastic program. But this latest utility release SimStaller is a freeware product from Parallel42 and they tout it as being a program that will make installing additional content to your simulator a complete breeze. It will also identify and search out conflicts between different add-ons that you may not even know currently exist and can also then be responsible for problems that you are having with your simulator. Parallel42 said that this program essentially started off as a tool for their own customers who purchased their add-ons and it has since then evolved into this must-have tool, particularly if you download external content, say from flightsim.to or other download websites. You can download this tool directly from the Parallel42 website and there is a link to that in the video description down below. Once you have it uh, downloaded, simply run Run the executable file and this is it a very very light program so it's not going to bog down your system or anything like that it's just the little black window on screen and it does essentially have two features it manages your installations and it also identifies conflicts obviously you need to go through and identify where your community folder is and also when you do download things say from flightsim.to where your folder is that those downloads appear Mine just go straight into my default downloads uh, folder, as you can see on screen now. So let's just quickly check this out with the download installer. Uh, the Inabuilds A300 has recently come out, so let's just uh, nip on flightsim.to, download a, uh, a new livery from that. Of course, when I click on the download button, it just downloads the zip file or the RAW file, whatever it uh, will be, and it just pumps it straight into my default downloads folder. And as that downloaded zip file livery drops into my downloads folder simstaller literally springs to life without me actually doing anything it installs it that is it unpackages the zip file pops it into your community folder and then it checks it for conflicts as well and that's all done automatically now obviously if you're downloading just one livery at a time or one airport uh, scenery file etc then perhaps it's not that useful to you but if you're downloading four or five files and each time you've got to go and you've got to unzip them some of them are raw files so if you need to convert them that kind of thing then it can take a little bit more time but with this you can literally download hundreds of scenery files if you're so inclined to then run simstaller and it will just install them for you automatically and you don't have to do anything it reads your download folder unpackages the file pops it into your community folder and also checks for conflicts at the same time. So here, for example, I downloaded a couple more liveries from flightsim.to. One is a RAW file, one is a zip file. You can see as soon as they got downloaded, SimStaller was running there in the background and you don't have to do anything. It just unpackages it installs it and jobs done. So if SimStall is running and you're scrolling through a site like flightsim.to, downloading after download after download, then that is all you've got to do. Now, one of the more interesting features of this freeware app is when it then tells you about any conflicts that might be going off with the things you've got installed in your community folder. Now, on first look, there is a massive list because my community folder is, well, rather large. Uh, so there are lots of things conflicting with each other, which on the outset of things actually sounds really scary and as though there's lots of things wrong with my community folder and simulator. But actually that is not the case. And in the full documentation 
as displayed on the Parallel 42 website, it will take you through what it actually means. Things like core replacement files, conflicts that actually do need to be there. For example, Rex AccuSeason, uh, which I have installed and replaces all of the trees and the vegetation around the globe. That conflicts with the default Microsoft Flight Simulator files. Well, yes, of course it does, because it's changing them and I want it to change them. So that is a conflict that you would expect to see. But if you are having some issues with a couple of mods, say text and font images aren't looking right, or there is a problem with one of your aircraft that uh, something's not working, either the avionics and things like that. Well, if you removed everything from your community folder and just left this one particular problem aircraft in, ran this program, it would tell you that it's conflicting with something. And then when you start to maybe add things back into your community folder, it would tell you that how the two are conflicting again against each other. It is a little bit detailed in terms of all the information that it gives you, but for a developer, I think this is an absolute gold mine of information. It's well beyond my comprehension because I'm absolutely no developer, never created anything for any Microsoft flight simulator. But if you are a developer and you want to really delve into the file structures and things that might be causing you issues, then this is going to save so much time. And as you can see on the screen, everything is categorized into the certain parts of the file structure. So it's very easy to say if you've got something wrong with your light to go and find what it is that's causing that conflict or if there's something wrong with the avionics, etc. Hopefully you'll be able to uh, see exactly what I mean uh, because the images on the screen doing more talking than, uh, than myself, I guess, at the moment. But for those of you who just want a really quick way to install lots of files well yeah this uh, this is definitely something that I will be using from now on just the fact that it takes the steps out of unzipping files and popping stuff into the community folder that already is a huge time saver and for those of you who run things like add-on linkers well yes simstaller does support those as well and you're able to obviously separate the packages out and tell simstaller where they are etc so there it is a great little resource light tool to help with your flight sim installations and developers as i say i think this is an absolute must have if you're creating stuff for microsoft flight simulator thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to leave a like before you go and remember if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos on the channel and of course our live streams Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye for now.